This problem says from the graph determine the x and y intercepts and the vertical and horizontal asymptotes. Enter your answers as comma separated list. If answer does not exist, write D N E. D N E. Alright. So the x intercepts of course mean where it crosses the x axis. Well here's your x axis right here. It's that line right here. That's your x axis. And so your x-intercept would be that point right here, which it looks like it's four. So your x-intercept is four comma zero. Now, it doesn't have parentheses around it, so I think you should probably put parentheses around it. And notice there's no other x-intercepts, just that one. Your y-intercept is going to be where it crosses the y-axis, hey, look at that. It's also at four, but instead of four zero, it's zero comma four. Now your vertical asymptote is the line, the vertical blue line. I'll use a gray line right here. It's this line right here. That's your vertical asymptote. So where does it go through? Remember what vertical lines always say x equals something because the x value is always the same. And in this case, your x value looks like it's two. Yeah. X equals two is your vertical asymptote. And your horizontal asymptote is also two. Also two. So y equals two is the equation of that line. Now sometimes what they'll do is they'll have you write this equation out, like find the equation of this, which I don't see that as in this question. Have you ever had to do that, where, where you actually come up with the equation of this line? You don't have to do that? No, not the equation part. All right, well, I'm gonna show you how to do it anyway, because it's really not super tricky. This is called a rational function. And your vertical asymptotes are always mean that your denominator is going to have an x equals 2. Set that equal to 0. So you just move the 2 over by subtracting it. And it tells you that your factor, you're going to have a factor of x minus 2 in the denominator. Okay. So there's your factor in the denominator. And your vertical asymptote. Your vertical asymptote shows you, I'm sorry, your horizontal asymptote, y equals 2, tells you um, the ratio of leading coefficients, a over b. So you know that there's going to be a 2 over 1 in this problem. So we're going to write a 2 and a 1 right there. And then um, your x-intercept, which is... Five, uh, sorry, not five. What was your x-intercept? Four. Your x-intercept, this red one right here, tells you the, in your numerator you're going to have, so x equals four. X equals four, which means x minus four equals zero, is a factor in your numerator. And, yeah, you remember doing this? Um, and then um, what you can do to check if that works is you can plug in this other point that you have right here, 0 comma 4, and make sure that that actually works. And if it doesn't work, you have to, you have to multiply it by some more constants up at the top. So if I plug in 0 for x and 4 for y, does that work? I've got negative 4 times 2, negative 4 times 2 on the top, and I've got negative 2 on the bottom. So those 2's cancel out and the negatives cancel out and I get 4. So it actually did work. So that's your equation right there. If they wanted you to write the equation, the equation would be 2 times x minus 4 all over x minus 2. And that's the equation of that um, a rational function, the picture there.